Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I am recording this video for the fifth consecutive time because all the times my mic wasn't working so I had to get a new mic and now I am able to record this video. My mic quality is bad uh, because I told you the reason but ignore that. Let's jump right into this video. So today I am going to be teaching you how you can make your own discord board. Ignore this all. Okay, so first of all uh, you have to create a folder on your desktop. Yeah, on your desktop, l let us say I created a folder called Discord Tutorial. I know the spellings are wrong, but no problem. Next thing you want to do is make sure that Visual Studio Code as well as Node.js is installed on your PC. Next thing you want to do is uh, run a uh, run the command prompt, which is a uh, Windows plus R key. Then type in CMD, and this will open. Now we have to do CD desktop which means that it will change its directory to desktop and make the changes to desktop whichever we will do here now we will do cd and the name of our file now it is in this file uh, which is just a second this it has opened this file and it's gonna make everything download in here so first we want to do npm in it now name let let us just name it pgamerx version description entry point now this is your main file you can name it anything like main.js or anything but i will uh, let it remain this only test command nothing 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 author you can write your name and let me just uh, all right enter and type yes you can see the package.js on file next thing you want to do is don't close this just to npm wait first you want to do is go dot just to be on safer side we will do that first now as you can see this is everything which we did there now just create a file called index.js or whatever you named it index.js now we will just close this and type here npm install discord.js it should install the disco.js all right and where is now just press uh, i mean type code dot it should open the software and this is index.js and all the modules are already installed so let's jump into real coding first you're gonna let this code d in capital just in case you can uh, type it in small also but i like capital uh, it to be capital require disco.js and then next const client is equal to new discord disco dot client okay so now this has taken the modules from here to this file and everything and it has created a new client now we want to do is client dot login and leave it like this now this is where you will enter your token your bots token for this you need to go to disco developer po portal and create new application name it anything let's name it little from anything i said anything then go to bot and add bot and do and press yes do it it will create a bot i already created it created it it was known as tutorial or something yes so you have to just copy uh, the token and just paste it here all right so this will turn on your bo bot and just to make sure we uh, do client uh, okay this will turn on your bot we, we will add commands also first let us test this don't forget to save it as always save it then just open it you can also open it right away but this is a much fancy way and I love fancy way okay let us just open this code and go to the server I added the bot and if you don't know how to add the bot I will leave the uh, link in the description of discord permission calculator there you just have to enter the client ID of the bot which is on the first uh, you know here right here client ID is right here in general information and just place it there and select what 
permission your bot needs i suggest giving administrator because we are just testing it and not giving it to someone else yeah so let us just run node dot if we get any error then we know that it's not working as simple as that lol okay i think it and you know what uh, before we check it let us add something which will tell us if our bot is working or uh, client dot once two times then uh, go here and place it two times and write ready then comma and let's add a space so it's not complicated then here is equal to this this and yeah and we're going console dot dot log bot is now on an exclamation mark so what this will do is uh, it will mark the bot as on in the console so where the console is uh, you have to press the uh, control key and uh, the button on the left side of the one I don't know what to call it and here it this is our console as well as terminal it will log it here so let us just save it close it you can also do node dot here but that's not fancy you want to be fancy right go here then node dot so it should now say bot is on see bot is now on and if you go to our discord server you can see it is on <coughs> yeah so now our first step to make our bot on is complete now let us move to the second step which is making it respond to command thing we want to do is make it respond to commands so first we're going to do client dot on i'm going to go like this client dot on sorry not double this time we have to do shift and message comma message then we're gonna do equal to this okay is equal to this then this okay now we're gonna let so what this has done it's a uh, it, uh, it is telling the bot to uh, listen the message i mean it's telling that message is a message that is it yeah you don't need to put your brain on that okay now we're gonna let args now args uh, are the arguments which I will tell you, will I, which I will make you understand in our next episodes as well. Message dot content dot starts with. Then we are gonna. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Dot slice. Then we are gonna do prefix dot length. Now I also forgot to let the prefix. We are gonna let prefix is equal to. Wait. L okay exclamation mark next thing you want to do is uh, go here prefix dot length and then we are going to go here dot split i'm pretty sure um oh yeah yeah this is the code right and a space after that okay so let me explain you what i did i let the prefix as an exclamation mark i could have declared it as a constant but 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 we want to allow people to change uh, their prefix in their own server in future so let it be uh, a variable for the time being now we're gonna let command command const command is equal to args dot slice sorry args dot shift i'm doing so many errors i don't know why dot to lower case do this okay okay so now it has declared the command so now our command handler is also ready yep as simple as that what if okay now how this will work is we will do if command then 3 is equal to sign then this and then we will write ping or anything then curly brackets then we go to message dot channel dot send and let us just say pong pong wow okay so save it close it open it again as i already said 
then no dot and I don't think we should get our yeah, bot is now on let us just go right there right here and I ping and pong it worked yeah Ooh, thank you all for watching be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video to make me tell that you enjoyed today's video yeah so I can upload more and in next video we are gonna be talking how to make I'm gonna be teaching how to make embeds very easily yeah so leave a like that is what all I can say and also join my discord server for any kind of support or anything